<laughs> told my students this is taking out of the box and burning the box because the box all the time keep you using only traditional methods. Are sandbags a thing of the past? One engineering professor at McGill thinks so, and he's proposing a simple flooding solution that involves a tarp and those metal barriers that are often used at events. The barriers can be connected together and placed on either side of a street. A PVC tarp is placed above them and fastened. Metal, rocks, or rubber can be placed to hold the tarp down on the ground. The water will accumulate between both sides like a swimming pool. The water is enough, the force, the, the, the weight will be enough to fix it on the ground. There's no movement. It's exactly the same thing when we have small swimming pools. It's an idea that's been used before with expensive and big metal structures, but never with crowd barriers, which most cities already own. So I'm just replacing the highly cost part with a free part. And they have thousands of them there. Dr. Savvy says his solution is also cheaper than sandbags and quicker to install. It's not efficient. And you need thousands of people, millions of dollars, to fight and do it once. And this one can replace it efficiently if we use it well. He's received interest as far as Texas and pitched the solution to the city of Montreal, which has shown interest. And they asked me to contact them after testing. So I, I believe that I need them for testing. For City News in Montreal, I'm Tina Teneriello.